morning. It's day 19 and I think this is the loveliest hotel we've stayed in the entire, well I know it's the loveliest hotel we've stayed in the entire trip. Really. So we've just come down for breakfast thinking that we're going to get the buffet thing and I think there's no one else in the, in the uh, hotel because this has just been laid on just for us. That's our table. That's our table. This is our breakfast. <laughs> it's amazing. We asked for some bread and even more food turned up. There's these like traditional bready cake things. There's pancakes. Uh, what else did you bring There's some just toast. now? Toast. Yeah. Um, there's just there's just more food here than I could eat in like five, ten breakfasts. I am. Um, this is wonderful. Well, Claire and I are just getting ready to go. We've sorted out the bikes, got the bags on, checked the oil. It's good in both bikes. Um, done our chains, all our usual morning routines, and uh, and we're going to say goodbye to Hermes's Palace. I have to say, I liked it very much indeed. It's a it's a pretty cool hotel, despite the fact that it's kind of bang in the middle of a fairly ordinary looking town. But it was something special. Thank you. And we put in eight point one liters. Okay, fair enough. Right, let me see if I can find you a bolt. So we need a we need a bolt in there. Yeah. I don't know if you could see on the map there, that's all the twisties that we're about to hit, leaving Pogradec and this is when I've looked at this footage, when I've looked at this footage, when I've been editing our daily updates, and I've looked at some of the footage of us doing twisties, they don't look too scary on the video. No. I would like to inform our viewers that that is just a, an artifact of the way these cameras work. They are, in fact, ridiculously steep <laughs> twisties that we're negotiating right now as I speak. And it's, you know, I'm not in... I'm, I'm, I'm several steps off being in actual fear of falling off. Yeah. But it's, yeah, this is remarkable. You don't get this in Perivale. <laughs> Horsenden Hill has nothing on the Pogradec twisties. No. See, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've, got, we've got a couple of K of this, I think, yeah. just to get over the mountains away from the... Uh, away from the lake. The, the, the lake, by the way, at Pogradec, there's, there's this chuffing great big lake. And when we were standing outside the hotel, you would think that you were at the side of a sea. I mean, it, it, you, you would not know that it, it was a lake because you can't see the other side of it. It's massive. Um, and it's actually, you know, it's not big when you look at the geography of Albania. You know, no. it's, it's, a, it's a big lake, but it's not massive. Um, but when you get down to it, at, at the scale of actually being there, it's, it's mind-bogglingly big. Oh, look, this is all terraced up there. I think yeah. I think that this has been mined at some point and then it's grown over again because those well, we've, sort of se we've seen the old mines, haven't we? Yeah. As, as sort of on the outskirts of town. Yeah, this could once have been sort of the mining road because you can see uh, a sort of a shape. Well, either that or it's just a uh, a geological thing where the earth falls away at certain. I don't know. Oh, that's a, so you can see down there. That's the that's the lake at Pogradec. I'm not going to look there very long because I want to look where I'm going. <laughs> But I definitely think we're at peak Albania now. I think we are. Didn't get a nod back. Looks like another hole in the road. Yes, it is. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Ow.
sheepdogs. He's got sheepdogs, yeah, look at them. Yeah, just carefully on the mud. There we go, there we go. I think that looks like a border, Claire. I think it does. There we go. Dogana Customs, we are we are about to leave Albania and I'm quite sad. I am quite sad because Albania, you've been good to us and we, we love you. Yeah. And, uh, and Albania, I will now always root for Albania in the Eurovision Song Contest. I will, especially this year's entry. Oh yeah, she's, she's great. Belter. Did you see that dress she was wearing? Oh, it was amazing. With the rainbow flag, it's just so yeah. good. Oh, she's great, I love her. All of the shoulders, all of the tattoos. All of the shoulders. Right, should we get in? This line here looks a bit shorter. Yeah. I, I don't know which line we're supposed to I'm be in really or whether sure. we can go straight past as we did in some others. So, yeah, maybe we'll get waved on Who at some knows? stage. Who knows? But I think we're going to be here for a little while. I think we probably are. I'm going to... Okay, well, we've done, we've done the one. Albanian border, stage one. And now it's, uh, it's stage two, getting into Greece. We're rather hoping that we're not going to have to get all of our V5 and registration insurance documents out again because this is now the EU again but uh, who knows B borders have been a bit variable really haven't they a little bit yeah I think the non-EU ones they've wanted to see either insurance um, certainly coming into Albania yeah and Negro they wanted to see our insurance documents on anything else here they just set for a V5 mm. um, it may not matter it may not so at all there's a couple of coaches coming in here and they've got everyone off the coach and all these guys up here, they've got all their bags out from under the coach and they're uh -huh. lining them up for the dogs. Uh, yeah, they've got dog searching trucks and everything. It's a, it's a pretty serious lot of, border. Lot of taxis as well. A lot of taxis, lot of taxis yeah. full of people. Oh, right, we're just through the Greek side of the customs. And I didn't know whether, because we showed our passports and then there was the customs part, like anything to declare. And we waited in the line and the, and the guy came over and he said, uh, EU? And I'm like, there, I've got the Union flag flying on the front of my bike, the GB plate on the back. And, and he says EU. And I, I, I had to wind my neck back in and, and not say, yeah, mate, for the time being. But who knows what's going to happen in the next few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, we are EU and bloody proud of it. So and we're back in the EU. Back in the EU. I'm not going to turn my data on quite yet. No, I'm hell scared. no. I'm still scared of Albania. Six pounds a minute. minute. <laughs> right, are you hot to trot? Yep. Let's do it. Sketchy surface, Greece. Sketchy surface. But look, the weather's picking up already. I know. I told you, in Greece, the sun always shines. <laughs> Ripe Kalamata olives everywhere you go. Hummus by the side of the road. Hummus by the litre. Right, how's it going? I have no idea. Right, it's all You're going round. Yep. Do you know this is my first ever Greek roundabout? Uh, yeah, I, think I have not. never oh. been round a roundabout in Greece before. This actually looks okay, isn't it? I have no idea. Right, we're going left. Okay. Oh, there's a sign for um, Castoria and Thessalonica already. Oh, yeah, perfect. Actually, Greek, Greek roads, they're, they're picking up a bit. Look at this. I know. Yeah, but border, roads around the border, or I think we're on a motorway, but um, roads around the border are always a bit sketchy. Uh, fair point. Yes, we are actually already on the Greek motorway. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Fine, whatever. There's a place coming up here called Maniaki. How peculiar. Greek language scholars, please to explain. Yes. Bears. I didn't know that they had bears in Greece. There's bloody bears everywhere! Oh, flipping hell. There, no, there have been no bears as yet. What would you prefer? Bears or bees? Why?
fair point. But you can't ride round bees. No, no fair point. Let's hope we don't really see any Grecian bears. I had no idea that there were Grecian bears. I'm disturbed by this. Well, we're a good hundred kilom no, a hundred miles really, more than a hundred kilometers. I'd say we're probably about a hundred miles into Greece. Um, and we've been on nice, smooth, two-lane motorway for all that time. Yeah. And there's yet to be a motorway service station. No, 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 no. Nothing. Yeah. I But by turning off the motorway. No, I don't think it was the worst toilet in Greece. It was it was our first toilet in Greece and it was a squat and drop. I looked at that and I thought I'll just wee behind the bush somewhere and that's what I did. I'm sorry, call me a worse side judge, they're just squat and drops are not for me. Yeah, yeah, uh, but I'm, I'm unimpressed because uh, yeah, we, we've been used to having like roadside service stations like every five or ten miles in Albania and inevitably they would not miss a trick to sell you a cold drink or a cup of coffee or something there, you know, that was, it was really, really good. With quite good toilets, yeah, certainly better than that. Um, so Greece, I am not, I'm not a fan yet. You've yet to convince me. Um, Albania won. Nil point. Sit rep. That noise that you might be able to hear in the background is Claire's engine. When we stopped earlier, we put about, I don't know, 50, 100 mil more oil in the engine because um, Rima said that it was getting through some oil and we had to be careful of it. I couldn't see that it had lost any oil when we dipped it, but we put a little bit more in just in case. It High revs. 